YouTube Electric Adventures here with another Atari 8-bit game. <clears throat> Continue to, you know, just play some Atari 8-bit games to see what some of the games are like while we wait for the Atari 400 Mini to be released. And I thought I'd try a slightly older one, one of the um, more classic Atari um, arcade series. <clears throat> and Pole Position I actually used to like playing in the arcades. There was one at my local bowling alley. Um, and it's quite a fun game, um, limited in what you can actually do in the game, like you play through the game and you get to the end and you've just got to try and beat that score. Um, but it does have a few options and the controls are interesting in this version and it also shows the improvement over the Atari 2600 version and the capabilities of the machine. So let's give it a go. work around my slightly glitchy start button. <clears throat> right, so you're, for a start, your car auto accelerates. And then when you reach a particular rate, you press down to go into high, and up will go back into low. And your button actually is for braking. Just want to apply a little brake as we go around the corner. This for ages, so I don't know what I'll do. And as you can see, the brakes work quite rapidly. sides will slow the car down as well. You've got to be careful you don't stray too much far off and get hit by one of the signs. Oh, this is hard. Oh, you, should, yeah, you have to be careful if you clip a car. Oh, I actually got pole position. Oh my goodness. <coughs> I did have one really quick warm up just to make sure I had the control right, but um, I came like seventh, so. <laughs> So now we start at the front of the grid, which is great. Once again, cars are going accelerating. Going to high. That's a full lap race we've got to try and get through. If you make it around the track before the timer goes down, you basically get extended play. And you get more time energy score and you get to do the next lap. Seem to have a decent amount. So 
a single crash like that isn't going to knock us out of the game. Of course. seconds. Six seconds to go. Made it. <laughs> there we go. Passing bonus. So this is the number of cars. And a remaining time, and that gives you your score. So obviously it's a time attack. So obviously next time I play it, I want to try and beat 241.70, and a total score of 57,100. I don't think that's too bad. <laughs> so this is the sort of game you'd <coughs> you'd um, you know have some friends over and um, you know have a go against each other. Now my memory escapes me whether or not you can actually um, change tracks. So, oh, okay, five laps. Eight, because the arcade game you just had the four laps. One, two, three, four. And it's Malibu Grand Prix. Ah, we actually have different speedways, which you didn't have in the original Atari Grand Prix practice run. I won't play a full game, but let's just try an Atari Grand Prix. I'm just curious. I haven't played this for such a long time. And I think playing Atari games is just fun. actually very well done of the Atari design this because the whole position of the game you know, was designed for, for, to get arcade players in and get, let them have a game, have a bit of fun and obviously take their coin and then the next person needed to jump in. Whereas they realised that that game at home needed a bit more to it otherwise you know, they need to increase the value to the home player. Patience there, we made it. So I came fourth that time. I didn't see that much different to the track, but um, yeah, it's not bad. All right, I won't do another full race because that's that's probably enough um, for you guys. But um, actually, quite a cool, um, you know, early game for Atari Eight Bits that does a decent job of. Um, having the arcade gameplay but adding a bit more to make the game a bit more worthwhile to have at home. Alright, I'm Only Trick Adventures, thanks to all my subscribers, thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.